Alrighty, third time's the charm. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first YouTube video, so stay with me for a bit. It'll be a bit messy. We'll get there. I'll be a bit pausey, but we will get there. Okay? Welcome. This is my cottage core home. I'm building it in honor of the new pack and in honor of the new TikTok uprising in cottage core. In living that sustainable life, this is for you, TikTok. This is for you. I'm, we see each other. And yeah, I just wanted to try out the new building style before the pack releases. Just so I can get the gist of it before we get actual cottage stuff and I know nothing. Like, I'm gonna get there and know nothing. I'm gonna be like, what the hell? So yeah, I just wanted to try it out for a bit before we dive dive in to cottage living. So this pack, I got to try out some new stuff. I got to try out terraforming, which I do not play with ever, and it is difficult. It is difficult. I try, like I did the barest minimum and did a mountain, like a tiny little mountain, and that was still stressful for me. You don't see that because it's all sped up, but I was struggling, struggling. I was, but it worked out. I got the gist of it. But yeah, so here's the shape of the. Lots. I built it on a Windenburg lot because that's the most European world we have right now. And that's what the new pack is about, right? Britain. Britain. So yeah, it's on Windenburg. It's on a pretty big lot because I wanted to fit in some ponds. Which is fun because I recorded this before um, I realized there were ponds in the new expansion pack. So I did this, and then like a day later, I found out we were actually getting ponds. So that was fun. I'm excited to have real ponds that aren't just brown pools. That's really exciting. So I just played around with the circles to try and give it a more natural shape. And then added in the get-together, murky, disgusting pool water type. And I think it works good enough. I do add in some different wallpapers to make it look more earthy and then some decorations like the algae I think it's called and then some of the weeds just placing those in right now yup 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 I think they do a decent job of making it look like a pond they, they've tried their hardest they've carried the backs of the pond wait that doesn't make sense but they've done what's needed to be done, but now we're getting real ponds. And I'm conflicted, because the real ponds you can't swim in, but these you can. So, like, <laughs> am I going to be using real ponds? Probably, but it is conflicting to my pools, because they do so much more. They do so much more. And don't get credit. So here I am trying to fit in these swings. You don't see it, because this is recorded quick. But this was a struggle. For some reason, these swings, they're like map zone, the grid that they're on. So big. So trying to fit it into that corner was a struggle. I'm adding in some backyard activity because I wanted this to be a family home. I added in a fire with seats, four seats, which is weird because I only did one kid's bedroom. But whatever, we digress. I added a fireplace, some monkey bars. I said the swings, some bikes. Two bikes up there, and then I fenced the property. So this is all coming together. It's in its early stages, but you can see the vision. You can you can imagine it from now on. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing. What am I up to now? I think I'm going to talk about cottage living because I think this is landscaping, and landscaping is boring. I'm not talking about that. We're not talking about her. So cottage living. I was initially. <laughs> landscaping is boring so I cut three minutes yes I did anyway cottage living I was initially disappointed with the crowd screams the crowd gasps <gasps> what anyway <laughs> anyway at first I was like mm, we got cow plants we got harvestables what could this pack possibly add because you know we already have cats and dogs we already have seasons. I did not think this was going to be exciting for me. 
But then I saw the llamas. Then I saw the llamas. I know this is controversial and people are like, where are the sheep? Where are the sheep? But God, when I saw the llamas, I said, God is good all the time. Because is this the first time we've gotten like llama llamas? Because I know we've gotten the university llama in Sims 3. And we got in some other stuff. But I think this is the first llama. Representation matters, guys. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited for the llama. I'm so... Uh, this sounds crazy. I sound crazy. But llamas are just such a fun animal. Like, oof. I think I'm more excited for llamas than I was for dragons in Sims 3. Remember, like, Dragon Hollow or whatever it was called? Llamas are just so fun and witty, and I love them. So excited they're adding them. I don't care about sheep getting cut. A mod a mod creator will release every color of the llama that's a sheep. So I'm not too bothered. I prefer llamas to sheep. Here we are. I should talk about the build. Here we are furnishing the cottage house. I'm going with a more rustic feel. I'm going to be real. I did not research before this, so if you if you British people are mad in the comments, if you're mad, if you're mad, um, sorry, yeah, yeah, this, this is my apology to you, if this looks nothing like your grandma's cottage, but I sense I got the Peter Rabbit feel, good enough, <gasps> that's another thing, we're getting rabbits in the cottage living, oh my god, is this the first rabbits too? Let me do some research. I'm gonna do some research. Okay. Sims. Sims 3 rabbits. Because they definitely weren't in Sims 2. And if they were in Sims 1, they were like magic rabbits. Going to images now. And. Nope. They had modded rabbits but other than that nope there were rabbits in the sims free play oh my god can you remember that sims free play woof that was a memory um but yeah rabbits llamas i know we already have foxes so i'm not too like i don't really care but i'm just excited about the animals in this i like <laughs> I recently got into pets, like two months ago, I started playing with pets in my legacies. I have a vampire right now who has five tigers. They're dogs, but like they look like tigers because of an amazing gallery creator. Her name is, or their name, I should say, the Kalino. I don't know their pronouns, but yeah, they make beautiful animals. So I'm just really excited for more animals in The Sims 4 because it gives your Sims something to do. Here I am finishing furnishing the bedrooms and bathrooms and kitchen. Just about to get into the living room. I'm sorry, I'm not talking about the build because I don't know what to say. Like, there's a brown counter, there's a green bed. The rooms are pretty small, which I think achieves 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 the cottage lifestyle. Lifestyle, oh, what did I just say? I think it achieves the cottage dream. I think that's what people want. They want like cows and small houses and plants and stuff. Yeah, comment if that's right. Comment if it's wrong. I don't know. I'm trying here. Again, I didn't do research, but I think it looks good enough. I think it has the cottage vibe. Like if I showed it to someone. They'll be like, yep, that's a cottage. So I'm done. Yeah, I achieved. I, <laughs> I achieved. I did that. Here we are adding in some decoration to make it feel more cottagey. I don't usually add a lot of decoration, but I thought it was necessary. Not right now. Obviously, I would add a lamp in a normal house, but I add in some plants and some little like ob clutter objects, which I think are cute. I usually build modern houses and contemporary. So this was new for me. It was new. I don't usually make like grandma's house. But that's because 
I never get to Generation 3, let's be real. But in Legacies, I always give up on second gen. So that's the house nearly finally finished. I'm just adding in some bookshelves. And I did add in a dining table. I don't know if that's already happened or not. But because the kitchen was so small, I was worried. Yeah, no, we haven't added it yet. But I did get in a tiny little kitchen dining table, which I was so happy about. Love it. Love the craziness. I think it really works. And I hope you cottagecore freaks are... <laughs> I hope y'all are enjoying this. Here I go, adding some more sunflowers to give it a more gardeny feel. I don't know. I would have gone to the gallery and downloaded some produce to put in the backyard, but mm, do I care? So sorry, but there's just lavender and some romantic garden things that look sort of like plants. You get to put in the garden stuff yourself. It's like a DIY project. That's my challenge. That's my challenge for you. I add in some beekeepers hives. I need I need to play with some bees. I haven't played with them yet. Just some swimming equipment. I love the Windenburg Bluffs set furniture. Like that furniture set. So good. So good. Here I am. Oh my god, this is oh the Sims community has manipulated me. Here's the moment where I go in and add tiny detail to the par things. I don't know why I did this. So just getting a sip of water. This is my third try, so I do need some moisture to keep alive. So yeah, you're just watching some paths get dirty. Cause the Sims menu the Sims community has manipulated me into thinking everything needs to be very detailed. Very, very detailed. So I'm just dirtying up the path to give it some more texture although you can barely see it just around the monkey bars and stuff I don't know why I did this nobody cares <laughs> nobody cares but it is nice it gives it a more dirty look for that farmer aesthetic looking back I wish I at least added some planter boxes so we're just finishing up on the build, nearly there, we're nearly finished, oh, I'm still going, <laughs> I'm still doing this path nonsense. I think that's the build done, I show you it in sunset, which is when I think it looks best, it's very rosy, all the plants look beautiful, doesn't it look great? <laughs> Uh, I think for my first cottage, it does look pretty cute. So I'm excited to play with real cottage stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this cottage. Bye!